Okay, so let me continue part 2 for today's chapter 2 lessons. Okay, so other than using equation, we can use more circle also. We can use more circle also for calculate the plane stress. So, more circle can be drawn into two manners. So, we need to be careful now to identify which manner we are going to. We're going for, okay. So, number 1a here, okay, tau is positive, okay. Consider sigma positive to the right and tau positive downwards, okay. And then the orientation, orientation theta counterclockwise is positive. Okay, counter theta is positive. Counter twice positive, and this is the figure for it. And then B consider sigma positive to the right. Okay, sigma positive to the right, and then the tau positive going upward, and then the orientation is positive for clockwise. So normally I will choose this to use. Okay, I use to this number one options. So you guys can follow me for my example. We are using this where tau is positive. I repeat, tau going downward and sigma is positive going to the right and then the theta is positive counterclockwise. Okay, so let me explain to you what is the two use needs to draw the more circle. So due to the MCO and lockdown at home, so I didn't have the tools here, but I want to show you is you need three tools for draw the more circle. Number one is the graph paper because you're going to draw and the draw on the graph and then you need the compass for drawing the circles and then you need to have the protector to measure the angle for the theta principle and so on. Okay, so first you can see that I list out that few equations you needed when you do the more circle. So theta average here, which is the centroid, the center, C is sigma x plus sigma y over 2, then you will get the centroid, okay? And then the radius, okay? The radius here is also the tau max, okay? You can see that the tau max here, okay? Is using this equation, okay? The square root of sigma x minus sigma y for of, over 2, power of 2, plus tau xy over uh, power of 2. So from the value of radius and centroid, actually we already can make a circle, okay? So also, other than this, you need to know the coordinate of x and coordinate of y. You have the, you, once you have this centroid radius, and this is the number three point you needed, okay? Determine the point x at the theta equal to zero with coordinate x equal to theta x and theta, tau xy, okay? So coordinate x here is the tau uh, sigma x and tau xy. And then the point y is sigma y and negative tau xy. So remember here is a negative because you have positive and negative here, right? So here is negative, here is positive. So you have the centroid, you have the radius, and then you have the point x and y. So you can sure that you can plot the correct more circle. And then after that, draw a circle which show the point X and Y with the central C. And then draw the line X, Y as reference point. You can make a line here to make, to make sure that it is your reference point. So from this small circle, we can get the information of 2 theta P. Okay, 2 theta P is from the X exit, uh, the line of X, okay, X, Y line to the X exits. Okay, so you can get this is 2 theta p. You can measure with the protector, then you divide by 2, you will get the theta p. And then from theta p, you can get the theta s, which is theta s equal to theta p minus 45. Okay, so other than that, you can get the theta, uh, sigma minimum, which is the value of this, and sigma maximum is the value of this. Okay, and then the tau max is the radius here which is here is the tau max because you can see that from this graph the maximum value will be here for the tau and then this is the value of all of this okay so if you have translation incline then you can plot the angle with it okay 2 theta how you you can draw the 2 theta here okay then you can get the y and x point for the inclined planes or the planes with angles rotations rotations angles okay so we go for the examples for you to understand that. So for the state of plane shown, construct more circle, determine the principal stress, principal planes, principal stresses, and the maximum sharing stress for the corresponding normal stress. So from here is the same thing with just now. First, you need to know the value of 
sigma x is 50 megapascal going outward and then sigma y is negative 10 megapascal is going inward and then the tau xy is 40 and megapascal positive because it's going to the right here okay so we can calculate the first thing is we can calculate the sigma average okay which is the c okay this is the c okay sigma x plus sigma y over 2 then you get 20 okay so you can get the central as just now i mentioned and then you can calculate the radius and then you pin the point x and y then you draw the circle after you draw the circle you can start to measure the value okay so let me show you the graph where the graph here okay you can see it clearly so this is the example with the central is here and then this is the point x this is the point y so after you have this central and then this x and y actually you can start to draw the circle by using the compass okay then actually you can measure this value as the radius this is the radius okay so from this value you can get what value from this circle now we need to extract one by one so you can see that this is the point for sigma minimum sigma minimum which is negative 30 and then this is a sigma maximum with this which is the 7, uh, 70 megapascal and then you can measure the 2 theta p 2 theta p here which is 10, uh, 53 degree equal to 2 theta p which is also theta p equal to 26.5 this one you will use you will use protector to measure the values okay so from the theta p you can calculate the theta s so theta s equal to theta p plus 45 degree so it's 71.6 degree okay and then after then that you can also other other than that you can get also the tau maximum which is the highest point here okay so highest point here and tau maximum here and here is the same but just here tau here is negative tau max is ne plus 50 negative 50 megapascal so which is here also the tau max is 50 megapascal and one thing you draw this circle you must make sure okay the scale for y exists okay y exists and x exists must be the same so here i put 10 20 30 40 50 so here must be the 10 20 30 40 50 you cannot get like this is 5 10 15 and then suddenly here 10 20 30 cannot you must use the same scale okay for this value same range okay so this is it for today so thank you everyone so i hope you can practice at home for other examples okay bye bye